this isn't in there, is it? No, this is this. I, I, if I say anything about it, I, I want to make sure I get the, the facts right. So. Yeah. Well, I want to make sure that I have good levels. So if you could tell me your name and your title, please. Michael Bagby, Board of Directors President. Right, and so the Board of Directors has decided on hiring a new general manager for WMNF. Yes, we have made a decision uh, to hire Craig Kopp, locally known and nationally known news person that um, applied with over a hundred other people. So it was a long, uh, grueling process, and after uh, many interviews, uh, we decided to go with Craig Kopp, feeling that he had the experience and the energy and the ideas and uh, to, to lead the station into the future. And Craig works now at WUSF, which is a radio station in town. Yes. And so he'll be leaving there, coming here. He's the host of the All Things Considered show in the afternoon. That's, that's right. Uh, he's been doing that f uh, since 2011. Um, he is a beloved figure there, and a lot of people in the Tampa Bay area will certainly recognize his voice. Although, uh, initially, his job won't be to go on the air, except maybe for fundraising, which uh, is one of our big areas of concern right now, uh, which he's very, very good at. But really, to come in and listen, take a look at who we are, understand our climate uh, and our history, what we're all about. Uh, he thinks the history of the station is, is unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, hoisting um, the tower originally you know, at the station here, I, I guess on a, a truck. I wasn't around then. I, I've been here since uh, 2005, right after the uh, building had uh, gone up. But he was really impressed with the story, and he thinks that that's one of the uh, things that we really need to uh, broadcast out there so people know uh, what the station really is, that we're not just community conscious radio because we say so. We really are conscious of who we are and what this community is. It's very common for a general manager to have a lot of radio experience like Craig Kopp does, but he has specifically has news experience. What does that mean for WMNF? Well, we just went through a period of program changes uh, where we rearranged some things um, for our uh, programming, of course, uh, with news and public affairs programming. And every time we go through that, it, it upsets people, and rightly so if you're used to hearing certain shows at certain times. And one of the issues was it looks like you're cutting back. And we really wanted to, to say something with this hire that uh, we're committed to uh, news. We think uh, our, our news team, uh, including yourself, uh, is, uh, it needs to expand and needs to really get out there and cover uh, the local scene. And that's what Craig is going to bring, going to, bring to the station. And that what, that's what he's clearly communicated to us, that we really have to emphasize who we are locally and what's going, around, going on here locally. I have to say that's good news for me. Uh, um, what, what, what else should I ask? Um, so WMNF has gone through some general managers in the recent, recent past. Mm -hmm. How, is this going to change? Is this some? Are you? We, I assume you were looking for someone that you thought would stick around for a long time and would work with the station. Well, one of the things he said when, when we met with him uh, to uh, offer him the contract was, "I'm going to be here a long time," and he feels that this is uh, something that is almost a culmination of what he's been building up his entire career. Um, he has worked combining news and music from the very beginning in the early 70s in the wild halcyon days of the progressive rock stations. He started in Toledo, went to Cincinnati. Uh, on a personal basis, uh, he was a broadcaster in Cincinnati where I grew up, so I was well aware of Craig Kopp. Uh, he, he did a show with a, a person named Rick Bird, and they were called the News Brothers. Uh, there was a time the Blues Brothers movie came out, and it, we, we really loved Craig there, and when he moved down here, um, of course, it was great to hear his voice. But he's really committed to the sense that um, the station needs to reaffirm who we are and to remind ourselves who we are uh, and to take our and, and to raise the level our, of our professionalism. Uh, of course, the other, the other people, the other station managers, the general managers that were here, uh, when they were hired, uh, the same was thought, that they were going to really uh, be the right fit for the station. And for one reason or another, uh, whoever's fault, or maybe no fault at all, there just wasn't a good fit. And 
hopefully this time uh, it will be and uh, this station is going to be uh, a beacon uh, in this area and beyond to what community, community radio can really be. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.